So, David, do you think the tendency to produce one-day wickets conducive to run scoring has affected the variety of wicket types seen in Test match cricket today? I think there are a lot of good wickets out there today, and I have to say there's a, a lot of pressure on groundsmen to try and produce wickets that will survive long enough for five days because, of course, people want to get the crowds in, the, the boards want to see full houses for as long as possible. They don't want games over in two or three days. But I think if you look around the world, I mean, groundsmen still have the ability to tailor pitches if they're allowed to, if they're encouraged to. It all depends on the situation, I guess, in the series. And so you'll still think, you'll still see pitches that will favour Indian spinners now and again. You'll still see pitches uh, made to suit home team bowlers. And when that happens, you just need to be sure as the opposition that you've got something in your own locker, someone, in your, someone of the right sort of calibre, the right sort of abilities to try and take advantage as well. Perfect for making big scores, so I certainly wouldn't want to be bowling out there today. That's gone! That's a huge six. That's the first bound in the innings, and it won't be the last. New batsman at the wicket for England. Another three onto the total. Left armour to start a new spell. Six to come. A left arm over the wicket. Nice one. gone down they'll be gutted to put that one down at this level of cricket you really cannot afford to drop your catches no run taken off that ball Everything was in the right place there. It fairly raced away to the boundary. He's certainly not hanging around. Left hand, right hand combination at the crease now. The off spinner to start a new spell. No run scored. Well, the ball definitely swung a bit there. Oh, that's a superb shot. He might not have been quite to the pitch of the ball, but continue with the shot anyway and hit it miles. He certainly saw that early. was a cracking shot. He really got into great position there. He picked that up beautifully. That will really get the bowlers back up. No bowler likes been hit for six. The crowd applauded a great night. He played wonderfully out there and really deserves the applause. in the air and six glorious runs the bowler really needs to keep it tighter he looks very pleased that's been a fine innings got him yes got him a slight fumble but safely passed
How important do you think good foot movement is when opening the innings, David? Well, I reckon with opening batsmen, it's even more important than at any other stage in the innings to get yourself into good positions. And that means if the ball is short, obviously getting back into the right position, if it's up there, getting forward in the right position. It's all, all, all obvious stuff. It's all in the coaching manual. But it's not so easily done, is it, when you're out there and the ball's coming at you at 90 odd miles an hour and maybe swinging a bit and doing things off the seam as well. So for them, it's the toughest part. But once you get through it, of course, um, once you set, then it all gets easier. As usual, the toss is crucial, so let's get down there to see who calls correctly. Batsman was all at sea there. That's nicely played. That's run away for four. A beautifully timed shot for four. Daniel Vittori to start a new spell. the right length for this wicket bring the batsman onto the front foot Go! all the new batsmen will look to play himself in That's out. Right, bro. Big oh. shout. New Zealand left arm has produced a really good over so far. No ball. You just can't afford to bowl too many no balls in one day cricket. Four. The crowd really enjoyed that one. What a great knock this has been for the West Indies. He's batted well today and he deserves the applause. are out in the middle and are about to toss the coin. New batsman in for the West Indies.
That's really demoralising for the bowler, but he needs to bounce back quickly. A beautifully timed shot for four. If you want to show the kids the perfect way to play that shot, there is a fine example. That was a really classy shot. The crowd are giving him a warm round of applause. He played wonderfully out there and really deserves the applause. They're having a shout and the umpire's given it. Right in front, no arguments there. That's done. Lovely timing there. He played that beautifully. That's over the rope for the first maximum of the day. He's gone for the slog, and six. He took the aerial route, but it paid off. If you want. He found the gap with precision. He placed that superbly. What a great knock this has been for the West Indies. He played wonderfully out there and really deserves the applause. A new ball has been given to the spinner. Not a common decision by any means, but I'm sure the captain's working to a plan. What a great knock this has been for the West Indies. He's batted well, but needs to keep his head down and take full advantage. No run taken off that ball. That's gone. That was a mighty hit. He really struck that with some force. Oh, great shot. Great shot. That'll give him some confidence. That was a confident shot. What a great knock this has been for the West Indies. He's played well during this knock. Let's hope he can carry it on. So far, and he'd be pleased to have reached the landmark. No ball. Not time to perfection. in the commentary box for this match is Ian Bishop and you were out there earlier on Ian how does the pitch look very good morning everyone this wicket is going to be really hard work for the bowlers there'll be no life for the seam bowlers or spinners and the only hope for the bowling team is that the ball moves around in the air a bit keeping the runs down should be the priority for the bowling side out there today bowl off stump that really was a peach of a delivery. He's getting a polite round of applause as he makes his way to the pavilion. This was how the innings ended. Tony Gregg has made the long climb up to the commentary box. You had a close look at the pitch earlier, Tony. How did it look? By now, he might have got a hand to that, but he couldn't stop it. He'll be gutted to put that one down. International cricket is a tough enough game without making it harder for yourself by not holding on to catches. Nothing scored there. How do you rate Ricky Ponting as a batsman, David? Well, I think Ricky Ponting's a great player. I mean, he's always looking to come forward first. 
and you'll see him driving through the offside, picking you through the onside too if you get a little bit too straight. But the fact is he's so quick on the short ball too, that's what makes it so hard for bowlers when he's on song. He's so quick on that short ball that if you decide to try and change your length, you then see the ball being sort of bounced off the pickets at deep square leg as well. Uh, he's confident, he's got a great range of shots, uh, he's a dominant player, uh, he's a great player to watch. Plenty of pressure on the new batsman then. That had four runs written all over it the moment it left the bat. He was onto that in a flash. He'll be angry at himself for giving away his wicket so cheaply. Hello and welcome viewers to what we're hoping will be a really competitive cricket match. The sun's beating down here this afternoon. It really is very hot out in the middle, but it should cool down once night falls and the floodlights come on. How does the pitch look? Well, thanks, Jonathan. The pitch is hard and dusty with some decent bounce. There should be a lot of turn in it for the spinners and more so as the match progresses, although with a fast outfield, you'll certainly get punished if you stray in length and long. I'd bat first if I was the captain. Harbajan to start a new spell. That will bring the innings to a close. Wing bowlers, if they can keep it tight and pick up a couple of early wickets, then they might be in with a chance. Six to come. This is right arm over the wicket. Go! I'm sure the new batsman will look to play himself in. I have the pleasure of Ian Bishop's company in the commentary box tonight. A little earlier, Ian took a look at the pitch. What are your thoughts on how it'll play? Well, David, the pitch looks slow and low, with the ball probably reaching the keeper no higher than around his ankles. I think it's going to be hard work for the batsmen, and this is compounded with the slow outfield as well. So it won't make for a high-scoring game. It'll be interesting to see who keeps it the tightest. This is a pitch for the bowlers. McGrath to start a new over. Good bowling. That was a terrible call. He didn't have a hope of making it. The wrist spin has made a real comeback in modern cricket. What kind of impact do you think this has had on the orthodox finger spinner, David? Well, I think the, the wrist spinner is still the key in international cricket because Bang there are it. more varieties still available to the wrist spinner. But what's happened to the finger spinners is they've all had to develop something special. And you look at Murali, you look at Habajan, they've worked hard to develop uh, Siklain Mushtaq before that as well. They've worked hard to develop balls that do something slightly different with what is still largely a, a sort of finger spinning action, there's a lot of wrist involved in what Murali does and in Harbhajan as well. Um, but they're just trying to do new things. And I think that's vital. I think that's what spinners have to do because there are so many good batsmen out there today who will play orthodox spin with contempt that you need to have something special. <laughs> 